So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to show that a given set of three vectors spans R3. So we want to show that a set of vectors spans R3 or three-dimensional space. So we're given vectors 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, and 1, 1, 2. So these are clearly elements of R3. And what we want to do is demonstrate whether they do or do not span R3. And so what we want to recollect, recollect is that to span R3, we need to be able to write any arbitrary vector in R3. And an arbitrary vector in R3 is going to look like x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, where x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are just real numbers. And we're going to need to be able to write any arbitrary vector in R3 as a linear combination of the three vectors we've been given. So this is, comes from that definition of the spanning set that we saw in the previous video. So we need to demonstrate that there exists scalars A, B, and C, such that A times vector 1, 2, 0, plus B times vector 0, 1, negative 1, plus C times vector 1, 1, 2 can be used to build any arbitrary vector x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. And what we want to do is construct a system of equations from this uh, linear combination that we see up here. So we distribute the a, the b, the c into the vectors. Um, so if we deal with the first components first, we're going to get a times 1 plus b times 0 plus c times 1 needs to equal x sub 1. And that yields this equation right here. And then when we deal with the second components, we get a times 2 plus b times 1 plus c times 1 needs to add up to x sub 2, which yields this equation right here. And then we do a times 0 plus b times negative 1 plus c times 2, which needs to add up to x sub 3. And that generates uh, this equation right here. So we wind up with a system of three equations in three unknowns, a, b, and c. And because we have a system of linear equations, we'll set up an augmented matrix like we've been doing this semester. So we get 1, 0, 1, x sub 1, 1, 0, 1, x sub 1, 2, 1, 1, x sub 2, 2, 1, 1, x sub 2, 0, negative 1, 2, x sub 3, 0, negative 1, 2, x sub 3. So we set up the augmented matrix. And then what you need to do is either have a computer algebra system that can handle variables in the augmented matrix, which GeoGebra Classic 5, I have not been able to get it to deal with that using any of the simple GUI interface features. So in the absence of a computer algebra system that will do it for you, you just have to apply elementary row operations by hand. That makes us <laughs> that makes us sad. We have to apply elementary row operations by hand until we get that matrix into reduced row echelon form and then we interpret the result and we either get a solution or no solution. So if we had a zero here, we would have zero equaling stuff. We'd have no solution. But in this case, we reduced nicely into reduced row echelon form and then you just interpret the result. Remembering this is, uh, this is an A, B, C column. So these are the A, B, C columns. So we get 1A equals this, B, 1B equals this, and 1C equals this. So we get solution A equals 3 times X sub 1 minus X sub 2 minus X sub 3. B equals negative 4X sub 1 plus 2X sub 2 plus X sub 3. And C equals negative 2X sub 1 plus X sub 2 plus X sub 3. So the nice thing about this, we know it spans the space. So now that what this tells us that is if we give, our, give ourselves any arbitrary vector, say 2, 0, 1, we know how to describe 2, 0, 1 as a linear combination of the three given vectors because x sub 1 equals 2, x sub 2 equals 0, x sub 3 equals 1. We just go down here and plug in those values for x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 to ascertain or determine what the values of a, b, and c will need to be.